Hello guys. Uh, so once again, I got a, I got an issue here with this, or I had an issue with this Bobcat 770, which had a SCR tempering fault sometimes, and it was mostly done at not when it was wide open, but whenever you have it wide open, and then you bring it back down to idle, it would show tempering fault. And the uh, the code that it was giving was U003 3226-19 and that was for the uh, for one of the uh, sensors for the post treatment NOX post treatment out of the uh, you guys know you know what really goes on with this thing with the whole depth systems and and it's a pain in the butt but uh, finally figured this one out and why it was having so many issues just uh, the engine light on every now and then sometimes sometimes it wouldn't and so the uh, so that code is really for your post treatment or for the NOX treatment post treatment which would be your downstream uh, sensor and as you can see on this specific machine, this is a 2017 Bobcat T770. It's the same thing with the 750s and the 800 as well with this kind of system. And um, right on this one, you can actually get to it from here. It is that one right there. So that one you can really tell it was full of guns or it was dirty, but it was. And like some of you might know, those sensors, they're about 2,000 a piece. And, and uh, replacing it wasn't in the, in the plans as of yet. But, you know, unless we had to, then we would have. Uh, what I did to fix that issue was, and again, well, the thing is that when those things go bad, I had a, you can see right here. So if you take the cover off, the top one of these things, you go up to the next one where you got the other little panel just slap that thing off and then you'll see your dose your dosing computer thing that's really what inject you know what tells the whole computer thing that what kind of readings those sensors are getting and you'll get the right amount of depth in the system so it can work properly so there right here you got post treatment right here and the other one is your free treatment for the NOx sensors now what you can do and always look for is up in here if you follow this one right here so this is this is for your uh, post treatment that's for your free treatment you can see here one of the wires was also messed up now it wasn't all the way through it didn't cut it, it didn't split it in half, but it was still, you know, it could still cause some issues. Make sure you unplug this thing right here. Make sure all the little connections are good and everything is clean. Trace it back, and if you trace it back, you'll you'll see that it's that it's that sensor right here. And if you want really access, uh, really easy access to take, just take this cover off right here got one bolt here another one right here and then those two 916s and uh, halves but anyways once you get that stuff out take your sensor out and I guarantee you it'll be real real dirty especially when sometimes you know if it's idling for too long uh, sometimes the, the pipe is messed up and water gets into it and it's really exposed once you take this cover off you'll start seeing the pipe the exhaust pipe just sitting up right you know water can get in there a whole lot of debris you know dust you name it but that's pretty much what fixed the issue on this uh on this bobcat about the uh with that code that always kept coming up and i've read some forums about this thing and it's 
it's like a common thing on Bobcats, you know, when they have this, uh, the whole dev system. And the code was U0032269. And sometimes you might not get that code, but you will have the uh, SCR or a, a, a code that says tempering, tempering fault, which means that sometimes if you got it, if you if you do replace one of those sensors or and you get a brand new one or so, not all the time, but at times you do have to go into the computer and uh, and have a computer relearn for the whole dev system. Like I said about the it's all about the dosing on these things, and that's your little module that says what kind of dose your the, the whole system needs the venue how it's running and how 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 aggressive it's been ran or how much it's been idling and uh it fixed the issue on this thing like i said it's it's not only on the 750s and and all that it's also like on the new like on the newer bobcats that has the exact same uh setup but i've uh i made this video because i knew i've read some some posts here and there about this code or a code related to a to a dozing or a tempering fault on the whole on the whole dev system and i i figure you know it could help somebody out or you know it might not help you fix it but it might help you try to figure out a, a different way you know well i got away with giving this uh sensor a good cleanup and then it's been running great for you know now it's been about i'd say about 50 hours wide open and it's still and it's still running strong uh just make sure you check your wiring make sure you check your uh the connections on it make sure the sensor is not blacked out full of soot and uh hopefully this helps someone and i'll be back around with some another piece of equipment and trying to help you guys out um you know sometimes it gets pretty pretty exhausting trying to figure something out especially when you don't have the right equipment to, to go into the uh to the system with but we managed to uh check the live data on those things and they were he was running fine like he, he didn't he didn't give any kind of weird low reading or high reading or anything it was normal but then once you ran it wide open for about 30 minutes or so you bring it back down to idle and then guess what three seconds later light comes on that code comes on tempering fault came on you run it back wide open and it goes away in like two seconds and again you can run it all you want and uh it won't show the code until maybe two days later always at idle while it was already running wide open um so check your uh post treatment sensors connections wires and also check your uh the pre which would be the uh upstream so your upstream and your downstream and you should be able to spot them right pretty pretty quick you you see got one right in there and the other one well you can't really see it well maybe you can that shiny little thing yeah so that's the other one and then if you go back to, on to the second place you got to this other side you got another one right like right right there and it's all about the uh the whole death i know these things are pretty crazy with these setups i don't really know they did them but they're complicated for sure so i hope uh you guys like the video and if you got any questions i might be able to answer them you know just leave a little comment or something uh you know i see a good bit of machines here and there of all kinds you know bobcats kubotas takiuchis new hollands john deers and uh so hopefully i'll get to uh do another video and and there it is so y'all have a good one and hopefully i i was some help in any kind all right peace out